What's up everyone? Today I want to do a proper review of the Uniqlo Block Tech Parka. So, I briefly touched on this in my budget Tepper jackets video. However, that video is pretty rough as I just started YouTube at the time and my review of it was pretty shoddy too. However, I just it's such a staple piece in my personal wardrobe and it's quite popular among the Tepper community. I just believe it deserves a good review. So, uh, I would really put this through its paces. I want it in heavy sleet, heavy rain, um, even warm weather, like misty weather, and... What is that? What is that? What is... Again, I've had it for over a year now. I have gotten to really know this jacket, so in this video I'm going to go over the fabric, the features on the jacket, the fit of it, any problems I have with it. So, with that being said, let's go on into the video and in the actual review. So, Blocktech is Uniqlo's very own fabric. You won't find it anywhere else but at Uniqlo. And it's constructed of two main layers, the outside layer and then the inside layer. The inside layer is what makes it waterproof and stretchy and breathable. The outside layer is what makes it water resistant and very soft to the touch. So, how that works, in light rain, the outside layer will be water and be completely fine. However, in really heavy rain, this outside layer will get soaked However, that inside layer will keep you completely dry. Like, I've never gotten wet wearing this jacket no matter how hard the rain has been falling. So, again, it is stretchy, which is a nice. It's breathable and lightweight and thin. So, all those contribute to the comfort of the jacket. So, going over the features on this jacket, um, I'll start with the bad and then we'll go on good. The, the thing I hate most about this jacket is just the hood is absolutely way too small. So, for example, when I put my hood up, and I could just have a weird, freaky giraffe neck. However, then it's not long enough, so then it will, it will lift the fabric up and off my shoulders. It's not comfortable, it doesn't look good at all. And so, if they would just make the hood bigger, it would make this jacket so much more worth it. But really, that's my only major gripe with this jacket. And then, so, pretty much all the other features I absolutely love. I really like the super high collar that goes up to about your chin, just helps keep wind and rain out and it makes you look super cool. And then this taped zipper here, uh, after a year of use, it's held up absolutely wonderful and still keeps all the water up and doesn't look like you can't see any wear and tear on this zipper. That's a really nice touch I did. The, the side pockets, uh, the zippers are not taped at all, but they do have this fabric going over it just to make the jacket look very clean and then help keep water out. Another very useful feature are these wrist straps right here. I use all, every time I wear it, I do strap those down. And then the cut of it, it's a little bit slim fit, which is nice, it's not super boxy. And then the back end is just a tad bit longer than the front, which is a very nice touch. So other than that, it's a very, very simple, effective raincoat that can work in pretty much any wardrobe. Like my mom could go into Uniqlo and pick out one and she could fit it into her wardrobe. Especially in tech wear, I would say this is almost a must. Since it's so plain and simple, it's a very good way, if you want to have like a lot of accessories on, then this is a good base piece for it and then let the accessories speak for themselves so you're not going completely overboard. So that's another styling tip that I've kind of found after owning this for so long. Versatility, you can pretty much wear this throughout the entire year almost because it's, it's so thin. During winter time, you can layer underneath. You can wear heat tech, long sleeve, even a slim vest underneath. And then in the summertime, you can just wear like an, a breathable t-shirt. So you can wear this and get utility out of it year round. That's my review of the Uniqlo Block Tech. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite pieces in my horror wardrobe, and it costs $69. Features you get out of it, I think is really astounding. So really my only gripe with it, again, is just that hood, and it would be nice if they had a little bit of extra pockets, but really, I can't complain for the price you pay for it. Anyways, guys, I just hit like 811 subscribers. That's really awesome. I appreciate every single one. I appreciate all the support. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Anyways, uh, I recently broke my foot, so, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do outfit pictures because I don't want to be rocking this boot, you know, my outfits. Uh, I should be out of it in a couple weeks, maybe three weeks, and then I can just wear an ankle brace and get those fits done. Because I do want to do some fall and winter stuff. So anyways, guys, I need to quit blabbing. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you in a video very soon.